Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see about a very big recruitment news which is Afcare 2021. So the notification for Afcare 2021 is out. This is a very awaited and very big recruitment news, especially for electronics branch. Okay, so the Afcare recruitment is happening for three categories for the 2021 recruitment. That is for the flying branch, ground duty technical and ground duty non-technical. Okay, so we'll be seeing all details in this video. That is the qualification details, the vacancy, age limit, all those things we'll be seeing in this video. Okay, so uh, and also I want to tell you that in this channel, we are doing separate preparation classes for AFCAT EKT examination for the electronics branch. So if you want to know about the exam pattern, the syllabus, the important topics and if you want to watch the previous year question discussion videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Okay. So let us see the post details for AFCAT 2021 recruitment. So let us first see the post details for AFCAT 2021 recruitment. So the first post is flying branch. And also I want to tell you that there is two categories of recruitments happening for permanent commission. That is people are being recruited as permanent commission and also for short service commission. The difference between these two are permanent commission means it is a permanent job and the short service commission job is actually for a period of 14 years and out of which 10 years is uh, permanent and plus 4 years will be depending on the service uh, agreements and all okay so that is the difference between this pc and ssc okay so for the first category of recruitments that is for flying branch only short service commission recruitment is happening that is for 14 years okay and the vacancies totally 69 vacancies is there for the flying branch We'll be seeing the qualification details later. Anyway, just see the post details first. Okay. Then the second category of recruitment is for ground duty technical and electronics and mechanical branches are being called. That is aeronautical engineer electronics and aeronautical engineer mechanical. Okay. And here for aeronautical electronics, under the permanent commission, there is 27 vacancies and for short service commission, there is 40 vacancies. And next one is aeronautical engineer mechanical under the permanent commission there is 12 vacancies and short service commission there is 70 vacant, 17 vacancies okay. So if you see the recruitment maximum opening is there for electronics people only okay. So this is a big recruitment for electronics branch. So that is all about the ground duty technical vacancy details and the branch details. Next is ground duty non-technical. There are three categories being called for the ground duty non-technical. First one is for administration, second one is logistics and third one is accounts. Okay. And the qualification details is for the administra administration or administrative department. As permanent commission, they are recruiting 12 people and short service commission, they are recruiting 19 people. For the account session, they are recruiting permanent commission 6 and short service commission 10 vacancies. Okay. Last one for the logistics department. As permanent commission, they are recruiting 9 people or 9 vacancies are there. For short service commission, there is 14 vacancies. So this is all recruitment news. That is, these are all categories coming under the AFCAT entry. And there is also a special recruitment happening for the NCC people. That is, if you have a NCC qualification, you are having a special opening to the flying branch. And you can see the details of that NCC entry or NCC recruitment in the notification. Okay. I'll be linking that notification description box. You can see what all vacancies are present for the NCC category. Anyway, we have seen in detail about the AFCAT entry. Okay. So the AFCAT entry and the NCC entry, the difference is that AFCAT entry means it will be that is they are recruiting people through this common admission test. But for NCC entry, there is direct selection. Okay. So that is the difference. Now, uh, talking about the age limit for the flying branch. The age limit is from 20 to 24 years. That is 24 years is the maximum age limit for flying branch. For ground duty, technical and non-technical, the age is from 20 to 26 years. That is 26 years is the maximum age limit. And also they have said that if you are belonging to uh, the age limit below 25 years, you should be unmarried. Okay. And also they have uh, included special clause about marriage and all. In the notification you can see it in the notification in very much detail okay so if you belong to a category of age limit below 25 years you should be unmarried for both men and women okay so that is the age limit details okay 
Now, talking about this, the qualification. So, the qualification is for the flying branch, the qualification is plus 2 with 50 percentage of mark. And also, they have specifically said that you should have studied maths and physics in your plus 2. Okay. Then, plus graduation in any branch with 60 percentage of mark or B or B tech with 60 percentage of mark. That is a qualification for flying branch. That is plus 2 plus either any graduation or B or B tech. Anyway, you should be having 60 percentage of mark in your examination. Okay. So, that is the qualification detail for flying branch. Now, for the technical, that is ground duty technical qualification is plus 2 with 50 percentage of mark and B or B tech in the respective branch. That is, if you are uh, applying for electronics engineer that is ground duty technical you should be having a b or b tech in either electronics or electronics and communication or electronics and telecommunication a lot of branches of electronics are actually eligible you can see that in the notification okay so you should be having either b or b tech or integrated m tech in electronics and if you are applying for the mechanical branch ground duty technical then you should be having a b or b tech or integrated m tech in mechanical branch okay so that is the qualification then for the administrative and the logistic department, you should be having a plus 2 with 50 percentage of mark plus a graduation in any discipline. Okay. So, that is a qualification for administration and logistic department. Then, the qualification for the accounts department is plus 2 plus either BCom or BBA or BSC, BSC finance. Okay. So, that is the qualification details. So, for flying brand, you should be having a plus 2 plus any graduation or B or B tech. For ground duty technical, you should be having plus 2 plus B or B tech or integrated M tech. And administration and logistic, you should be having any graduation. Then for accounts, you should be having either BCom or BBA or BSc. Okay. Anyway, you should be having a 60 percentage of mark for your examination. That can be any qualifying examination, but you should be having at least 60 percentage of mark. That is a must. Okay. So that is the qualification details. Now, talking about the selection process, we'll be doing a separate video for the detailed selection process and everything and that will be coming very soon. Okay, so please do stay tuned to this channel. You can see the selection process in the exam pattern video. Okay, so next is the application procedure. So, application procedure is online application only. You have to go to careerindianairforce.cdac.in or you can follow the site afcat.cdac.in. So, these are the two links you have to follow. Either of this link you can follow and you have to apply online. First, you have to register yourself, enter all your details, your mail ID, phone number, your qualification details, everything you have to enter. Then your photo and signature also you have to you have to upload. Okay. And also they have mentioned that Aadhaar card is mandatory for applying for this post. Okay. So, you should have an Aadhaar card and you should enter your number also. Okay. And there is also fees for applying. For the AFCAT entry only there is fees. For the NCC uh, category or recruitments through NCC, there is no fees. Okay. For the AFCAT people, the fees is 250 rupees for all the categories. And also you can apply from December 1st to December 30th. December 30th is the last day for applying. Don't wait till that. Please do see the notification. This Recruitment is especially for freshers. A lot of openings is there and also for electronics people is the maximum opening. Okay, so please go through the notification in detail and if you think that you are eligible, please to apply for it as soon as possible. Okay, and also if you are getting selected into this uh, category, that is any category, you will be having a training. Okay, and the training period is for the ground duty technical uh, department or category of recruitment. There is a 74 weeks training and for non-technical recruitments that is ground duty non-technical recruitment there is a training of 52 weeks okay that is 74 weeks and 52 weeks are the training periods all those things they have mentioned uh, in detail in the notification it is actually a weighty detailed notification you can see all the things your medical standards your uh, vision details your physical uh, standards or measurements everything they have mentioned okay so, if you are interested, I would suggest you to please see the notification and if you think that you are eligible, please to apply for it as soon as possible, okay. And if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, please do share it with your friends and also if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.